Hi guys, welcome back to this new video. Today I'll talk to you about how to deploy a self storage cluster on uh, many nodes. Okay, I, I mean I will deploy it on uh, three nodes, and uh, we have uh, we have an additional node that will be uh, an admin node. Okay, so let me show you rapidly how it looks like. Um, yeah, let me just call him back. Yeah, so I will deploy the cluster on those nodes. On this node, we have the OSD node, OSD daemon. We have OSD daemon and also we have the manager and the monitor, okay, on those nodes. And we have an additional node that we use also to, for the administration part also of my cluster. So this will be the nodes that I will use for my deployment, okay, for those four nodes. Okay, so uh, before go ahead. Okay, so let me deploy or install the different prerequisites that I need to in my environment. Okay, so both the different prerequisites are, are both one. Okay, I have to have uh, a containerization engine uh, environment uh, deployed on each node okay so you can use podman or you can use also uh, you can use a docker okay in my case i will use a docker in my centos uh, operating system okay but you can let uh, we can deploy podman if you would like but me uh, for my uh, for my test i will deploy a uh, docker okay and uh, after that we have to show us that the python 3 has been installed and the uh, lvm I will also deploy. So let's deploy and uh, install those prerequisites on all those nodes. Okay. So let's do that. Okay, so once done that, so let's move on. I will go back on my uh, admin node. Okay, I will go on this uh, particular node. Okay, it will be from this node that I will bootstrap my cluster. Okay, this particular node. Okay, so let me show you the interfaces. We have the both interfaces, this interface will use uh, have uh, by uh, cluster network, okay, and this one will be uh, the public network, okay. So, where we have two networks within my cluster okay? the public network and the cluster network. So, let's move on. So, next step, next step after deploy of the prerequisites, uh, we have to see, uh, we have to, I mean, uh, Deploy or install the CFDM package, which will be uh, which will permit me to automat uh, to automatically bootstrap my cluster. Okay, so let's let's install over CFDM. Okay, so, and uh, I have to first of all uh, specify which version of Ceph I will intend to deploy in my cluster. In my case, I will deploy the last version, the Rave version, the version. Uh, uh, 18 okay so it will be this version that i will intend to deploy okay so based on that i will uh, download all the safe adm uh, that version that meets this uh, version okay so i will deploy uh, the, i will list uh, download okay from the safe uh, website safe adm version uh, which meet uh, this uh, particular reef uh, reef Ver ver version okay so let's move on after done that i will make it uh, executable because i have it currently here yeah it is there okay once done that i will now uh, execute this uh, script cfm script to say hey update my local repository with the RAIF repository error in order to permit me to download all packages of this particular version of Ceph. Okay. So I will draw this script, I will be able to uh, 
have that the local repository of this node okay and from this uh, at this point i will be able to download all packages all packages that have been related to this particular version of ceph so let's do that So once done that, okay, I will now install the Ceph ADM properly. Okay, I will first of all I will uh, download the script. Okay, this script I permit me to update the repo. The repo or this repo has been related to this version of Ceph. Now I'm able, I'm able to install the Ceph ADM properly. So the installation will go uh, based on the repo that has been configured. We'll download all the packages packages that has been related to this particular version of Ceph. Okay, great. Now let's move on. After install the CFDM in my environment, I'm ready to bootstrap my cluster. But first of all, I have to. It's up to me. Okay, I can create a YAML file, which on which file I will specify all nodes that will be a part of my initial cluster uh, to deploy. Okay, so I will create a a, a, a file, and this file I will specify all the how my self cluster should be look uh, like okay so now let me sh i will show you the content of the file okay i will adjust uh, yeah this is the content of the file in this file i will see like in my initial cluster i will uh, i get those nodes okay it will be a um, uh, the three nodes plus uh, this particular node, okay? And uh, each node, on, on each node, I intend to deploy or uh, I intend to uh, to deploy those demons of Ceph. This demon, for instance, okay? This manager manager demon, I intend also to deploy the, the monitor demon, okay? And uh, on those nodes, we started uh, by uh, server I intend to deploy the OSD demon on those particular devices. Okay, this is what I intend to do. So before I move ahead, let me just correct all those information about the IP address of my different nodes. This particular IP address is not correct. It is nine, and others are correct. Yeah, others are correct. So this is okay for me. Okay, once done that. Um, I can move move on. Okay, next step that I can do is uh, now start all by uh, bootstrapping of my cluster. So before I do that, let me show you the comment and uh, explore, explain to you the comment. In this comment, I will say uh, the first monitor IP will be the IP of server server C. Okay, and uh, this IP address is the IP address of my server my first. Uh, uh, node, okay, the server C, and I uh, and um, the deployment will be based on this particular file, okay, and uh, the cluster network will be this network. I already show you the, the second interface, which will be my self uh, uh, cluster network for the data replication of OSDs and uh, OSDs, and um, this I can also specify the, uh, the password of my dashboard, okay, the self dashboard. I can specify the the password of this or dashboard also and i can i can say that i do i would not i would not like to update the password uh just for after the first uh, login okay i don't want to specify a new password yeah. and uh yeah this one hello uh, just so hello the fq dn okay host name yeah. so once done that so let's uh launch the deployment okay so this deployment will be based on this YAML file, okay, on which I will specify all the how my cluster, my first cluster, should be uh, uh, look like. And uh, 
the demon that I should have inside of this cluster. Okay, let me show you the, the drives that I have on my this my particular node. Okay, and both I have this drive on this node, and let me show you also uh, on the this on other nodes also. I have also. Yeah, as you can see, okay, great. I have this particular drive also. So let's go back and uh, bootstrap my cluster. Mm, and before proceed again. This cluster network, this uh, uh, cluster network is for OST data replication. It's optional, okay? Uh, for the, for my, it is just for my deployment, okay? It is optional, but in production and environment, it is recommended to have a dedicated network for the data replication of OSD, okay? It will it will work if you don't you don't do that, but it's recommended to have a, data, a dedicated network for the data replication of OSD. It's recommended, strongly recommended. Or data performance and so on. Okay, but it's up to you. Okay, if you intend to do not deploy a dedicated network, for a dedicated network for your uh, OS data replication, it's up to you. Okay. If you don't, you don't have just how to specify your this line. Okay, just remove it if you don't want to specify your a dedicated network for the data replication. Okay, so let's do this. Let's apply this one and uh, yeah. Let's see what will go on. Okay, the deployment is going. Okay, so now for the additional node, I have to uh, specify the password. So by this way, uh, the initial node, the uh, server C node, will be able to connect those nodes and a client d and client uh, server 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 d server e okay so let me explain you what i have been what has been done here okay these are line up methods over uh server c server c which is your initial uh, node to be able to connect those additional nodes and permit to save HTML to uh, complete of the installation. That means that uh, we'll, we'll save them the connector through the orchestrator, be able to connect it to the client A, server D, server E, and deploy managers, monitors, and also OSDs. Okay? This is mandatory. Okay? So you have to uh, specify the, the, how the, um, if you didn't, didn't perform all the passwords, less access to those additional. You have to specify the root password accessor to those those to complete the installation. Yeah. So once done that, it is uh, okay. Your deployment is okay. You can check out the, the health of your cluster, CFDM. Let me show you status to see the status. Um, ah, yeah, sorry. Share, yeah. Okay, so now check the status of my uh, 
you have, you have just to wait a little bit, okay? Just wait uh, less than one minute, and all, always these will be deployed on the different, uh, on those specific drives that has been specified in the YAML file. Okay. So just wait a moment. Let me check this one. Uh, the first USD has been deployed on this uh, drive, okay? So you do, it will be the, do the same for the other drive which are on those additional nodes, the node server D, the server E, uh, yeah, okay. So don't worry, the process is ongoing. Yeah, so as you can see, okay, all drive has been now. Uh, uh, all additional OSD drive, uh, drive has been uh, uh, successfully deployed based on what you specify in the file, okay? Again, uh, based on what you, you specify on your YAML file, uh, the deployment has been done, the OSD, uh, OSD daemon has been deployed on those drives, okay? On all host patterns that started by your server, okay? Uh, the orchestrator was able to connect on each node and uh, deploy always the daemon on each driver that's starting by uh, slash dev slash vdb okay so all drives which have uh, this pattern will be uh, taken as uh, uh, the drive that should that should, should, should be config configured as osd osd okay so great. So now my uh, cluster is uh, has been successfully deployed, and uh, the, the health is okay. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, CSF for cluster. Um, yeah, let me go on the. Yeah, safe. Can, can list list also all the different uh, demon. Okay, first of the different demon that I have in my in my wall cluster. I can list also all services that command all those demon demon at the moment. We have those services that have been deployed, and uh, behind those services are the different demons that can you can see Caesar. For instance, of this uh, service, okay, have be, uh, behind him, we have uh, three demon, demon, okay, the OSD demon, and so on. Okay. Uh, what what else? So this is all for this deployment. Okay, as you can see, the manager has been deployed on this uh, client A, on this server C, server D, and server E successfully. Okay, same things for for the monitor and so on. So the this deployment is great. Uh, let me show you also the, how the dashboard uh, looks like. Okay, you can see that the, the link accessor of the dashboard has been shown. Uh, the deployment or we have tell you telling you, you the URL. Okay, to have access to the dashboard. Okay, so I will connect on this, uh, my environment which have access to this dashboard. So let me just show you. Okay, so let me show you rapidly. And the IP address of the server C is, if you remember, 10, 10 and uh, 3 and 1. Yeah, this is it. And um, okay, I, I will set up the put certificate and the password. The user is admin, and the password. Remember the password. What what we specify in the for the deployment was this one, safe train. Okay, if you remember. So I will just take this password and uh, and I can copy and paste or just. Yeah, as you can see, I have access. I have access to the dashboard. Okay, let's skip it. Um, yeah. So now I have access to this beautiful dashboard. Okay, I don't want to send all the data, uh, telemetry data, to the self 
him. Okay. So now I have access to my, uh, my dashboard, my dashboard, my beautiful dashboard at the moment, and everything is okay. The cluster has statues, so is my cluster is healthy, and nothing bad has happened to it. Okay. So thank you very much, and uh, I hope that you enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, uh, or comment on this uh, particular video. Okay, so it helps us uh, to grow the channel and uh, move on. Thank you very much, and uh, see you later. And see you later. Bye from now.